Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and today I'm going to be showing you three easy vegan recipes that you can make for breakfast. And this video is a collaboration with Ashley from Rotten College, so after you finish watching my three ideas, head on over to her channel to see hers. Okay, our first recipe is for a blueberry smoothie bowl. For this recipe, you're going to need three to four chopped frozen bananas, a third of a cup of blueberries, two tablespoons of lemon juice, fresh is better, but I'm using canned here because I didn't have any, and finally, half of a cup of water. And to make this recipe, you're going to need either a high-speed blender or a food processor like I'm using here. So all you have to do is pour everything in the blender and then mix it up until it's a smooth and creamy consistency. Now you can decorate your smoothie bowl however you like. Here I decided to top it with some fresh strawberries and some coconut. I really love having smoothie bowls for breakfast. I think they're nice and filling, but also delicious. So if you're looking for more smoothie recipes, be sure to check out my smoothie ebook. The description is in the down bar of this video. This recipe is actually one of the 20 different smoothie recipes that I have in it. Our next recipe is for homemade cereal. So for this recipe, you're going to need seven pitted medjool dates, one cup of rolled oats, two tablespoons of buckwheat groats, but if you don't have buckwheat, you could use another crunchy nut like almonds, one tablespoon of shredded coconut, and again, I'm going to be using a food processor for this recipe, but you could also use a high-speed blender. All you're going to do is pour everything in the blender and blend it up until it is a chunkier consistency, as I'm showing right here. And if your dates aren't very wet, you may want to add about two tablespoons of water to this just to make sure it's a more doughy consistency. Then you're just going to pour everything into a bowl. And I decided to top mine with some fresh fruit, so I'm using chopped strawberries again here. And then that's it, just pour your favorite plant-based milk on top and you have an easy and delicious breakfast. You could even make this ahead of time and store it in your fridge if you're busy in the mornings and don't have very much time. And our final recipe is for chocolate peanut butter overnight oats. For this recipe, you'll need one ripe and spotty banana, one cup of oats, two tablespoons of powdered peanut butter, one tablespoon of cacao powder, two teaspoons of chia seeds, one teaspoon of cacao nibs or chocolate chips, and one cup of water. Okay, so first you're going to peel your banana and mash it all up in a bowl. Then you're just going to add the chia seeds, cacao powder, powdered peanut butter, cacao nibs, and the water and mix everything around. Then add the oats and mix it all until it's a uniform consistency. Afterwards, you can just use a spatula and put this into a mason jar or a Tupperware if you don't have a jar and just put the lid on it and keep it in the fridge overnight. And the next day, you'll have this really decadent and creamy breakfast that is 100% healthy for you. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Be sure to check out Ashley's channel for her breakfast ideas and I will see you all later. Thank you.